Anyway, I used a one and a half inch PVC. Boy, that looks weird just seeing my head. It's like I'm in an elevator. <laughs> I'm stupid. Okay, guys, so no. Summerfield Farm and Draft Horses here. I hope you guys are having a great weekend. It is another Carolina blue sky day and it is literally absolutely beautiful today. Um, it's a little hot but uh, it is what it is. It's September so you know through August, the end of August and through September there's never any rain. It's hot, it's crazy, it's crappy and it's hot. <laughs> so um, the boys and little Gracie they're over there. They're just chilling out. Um, this morning, I had to treat their feet for a little bit of thrush that um, the farrier said that they had in their feet. Sorry, I'm just a mess. I just put my hair up in a quick thing. Took a shower this morning and it was just messy. Um, but yeah, they have a little thrush in, so I just brought out my lead rope and my stuff and took care of their feet out in pasture. They're really good about just kind of hanging out. I wish I had thought about videoing it, but I'll do it next time. I have to do it every day, so maybe I'll do it tomorrow. But today is a how-to video. Huh, I don't do too many of those anymore. Um, since I stopped riding motorcycles, um, I don't really have to do a lot of how-to stuff. I send that over to my husband, and he does a lot of how-to stuff on his bike for uh, corner addiction. Because I used to have a, an old channel called Hammy 1000 R. And that's what they called me was, you remember um, Over the Hedge and Hammy Squirrel? Um, that was a crazy one, the red squirrel always wanting the cookie and can never have the cookie. Well, that was, that was me on the motorcycle. It was just crazy. I was all over the place. Um, yeah. So they called me Hammy. So I have um, a whole race suit with my name on the back. It says Hammy. It's pretty cool. And it was like... The coolest thing, I was with T-Mobile, and that was when the commercials for the T-Mobile bike came out. The girl on the Ducati with the T-Mobile, like the pink and the black. It was way cool. So I made my bike look like it. I'll have to see if I can find some pictures and put them in, splice them into the video and everything. But That was four or five years ago I stopped riding. Yeah, because in 2016 he got in an accident and we just sold everything. So, three years ago. So, anyway, um, back to on topic. <laughs> I have something to show you guys. Um, I was looking to do some more liberty work with the boys. Um, there's a girl that is in Ireland and she has some Kanamara ponies. She has a whole team of Kanamara ponies. She's got a couple of minis, and she's got a sheep, and she's got everything. It's way cool. And she's really cool. I'll have to put the link, like, down here. You know, where her her video is. Um, but I can't remember her name for the life of me. But she does liberty training. She, um, she's got a whole team of horses that she does liberty work with out there in Ireland. And she does, like, commercials and stuff like that with them. So, um... I'm thinking along with the trail riding, I'm going to start doing these guys with some liberty work because I do free ride with Jarvis uh, where I'll just sit on his back and I'll let him go wherever he wants to go and do whatever he wants to do. And every once in a while, I'll give him like a leg cue to see what he does. And uh, he's really rusty with that kind of stuff. So today we are going to be making uh, bending poles. Now, they're a lot like um, canine weave poles, you know, the agility contest that you see, they're weave poles and the dog goes, you know, all the, <laughs> all the way through it. 
Um, how did that go? Yeah, <laughs> that was like stupid. I'm dumb. Anyway, that was pretty funny and slow motion, huh? <laughs> so anyway, they, they do the weave pole there. And um, weave poles are really great for horses too. Um, the bigger, they're, but they're called bending poles. Um, and it helps them learn right and left with the leg on, with the leg off, with your seat. It helps with your balance. It helps you keep centered. Um, it, they're just really great. And you can turn them on their side. You can use them as walkovers. Um, all sorts of jar. <laughs> Darcy's over there. You can't see him very well, but he's right there. He was just staring at me for a minute. He heard me laugh and he's like, what? Mom's here? So today we're making bending poles and you can buy them on the web. You can buy them on Amazon uh, for like crazy stupid expensive, like a hundred bucks or 200 bucks, depending on, you know, how fancy you want to get. You know, some of them are made out of wood. Some of them have just like wood blocks on the bottom. Some of them are bigger and they've got like um, like the basketball type of base where it has sand or water in it so you can move it around. So today we're going to do something a little different. I'm going to put you guys right here. And um, what she did, it said it cost her 40 bucks to make six of them. And I was like, right, yeah, 40 bucks doesn't, you know, crazy. Well, I don't know where she was. But look at this, guys. Oh, wait, you can't. <laughs> it's backwards. Okay, guys, put on your thinking cap or play this in a mirror or whatever. But that says $49.36. So, and I think it was because I used bigger poles and I bought cap. friends gave to me but it has been out here um, and it just so happens to work as a very very good um, watch out husband's coming <laughs> tools yeah we have fun around here um, works as a really great uh, <laughs> uh, so so I've got all three I'm gonna measure them exactly in half these are 10 foot lengths which are like I said a uh, Marcus? No. Over there. No, you may not. Side by the calendar. Um, anyway, I'm going to mark them basically in half. So it's five feet. And it just so happens to be right here. A marker. <laughs> I already have my outtake already, mind you. All right. sand this a little bit if you want to or you can just leave it I'm gonna put this end in the bucket so I'm just gonna leave it so I'm gonna put my tops on the top and uh, 
word to the wise, when you have one and a half inch PVC, I don't know if you guys can see me there, but if you can have one and a half inch PVC pipe, make sure you have one and a quarter inch top. Otherwise, <laughs> if you buy the one and a half inch, it won't fit. So put those on the top of each one. And they just fit right on top. You don't have to glue them or anything. You just pop them on. Super, super easy. This project is so easy and so fun. Because you can have your kids do this too. If you have kids or something um, and you want something for them to do, they'll have a kick, you know, teaching them how to use a hacksaw properly. And, and this is super easy to cut through and their little arms can take care of it. Um, it's not going to be too difficult for them. And then you can always use the help when it comes time to uh, putting, setting these inside the bucket to make sure that they're straight because you don't want it all the way down in the bottom of the bucket. You're going to fill it up with sand, the concrete, and then you're going to put water in it. And then once it gets to a point where it'll stay by itself, then you put more concrete and more water, take a stick, mash it down. You'll see. But kids will love playing with it because it's, it's fun and they can play with muddy things. Kids like to get dirty. And uh, quick creep is really, really fun for them to play with while you're watching them so they can clean up really quick afterwards because it gets on their fingers and stuff like that. But they should have fun with this. This is a great little project. All right, so I'm gonna get my concrete and I am gonna relocate over into the shade because I don't wanna drop any of the concrete onto the concrete because uh, it'll make a mess. So, all right, let's move over there. Or am I too close? I think I'm okay. I think I'm okay. All right. Okie dokie. All right, so I have um, all of my, my stuff prepared. I have my buckets lined up, my 50 pound bags of concrete. You could use one 80 pound bag, but they didn't have an 80 pound bag of this stuff, so it's just regular. And I, I have a level, just a little mason level. Um, this is optional, but unless you want your holes to look all wonky, I suggest you use a level. It's just easy. This is just a little one. This is an old one that, um, either Sean had or maybe my dad had or somebody. It's got all sorts of different ones. It's got a vertical, a horizontal, and if you want like a 45, it's got that too, which is really pretty cool. Alright, so, um, first things first, let's put some concrete into our buckets and fill it with water. Take this little bit out and you have your own little spout. And that's where a little kid would be very helpful. I'm going to fill it about halfway up. Oops. All you horsey people that know how to ride will have no problem with this because you have really strong thighs. This is a very helpful way to do this. Quart 
buckets filled about halfway full is about 50 pounds so it said that I bought um, two because I wouldn't have had enough all right so let's fill these guys with a little bit of water and I forgot a stick rinse off my hands. I don't want to have concrete all of my hands. Oops, sorry guys. <laughs> oh, I just got my phone all wet. Good thing it's an S10. <laughs> it's waterproof. Sorry. So I'm just going to fill the bucket. Feels kind of soupy. Because you're going to put more on top. So uh, it'll soak it all up. Now here comes the fun part. You can either use your fingers, which would be really kind of fun, because you want to mix it all up. You want to make sure that, um, because as, even though they're all bubbling, it's just like cake batter or even like plants. Um, the first layer is going to be wet, but you can see some of it's dry underneath. So you want to mix it up really well. I'm going to use my hands because I always like playing in the mud when I was little. And if you really want to, if you have like kids doing this with you, you put your, uh, your initials as it sits on the top or the date. You know, whoever decided to mix that bucket, they could put their, like, a little heart or something on there, or they could put a little drawing, or something, you know, just to let them know, hey, you know, they did this. They did this themselves. So, that's always really super fun. That way they can look back on it later and be like, yeah, that was mine. I made that when I was, like, five. <laughs> This one's already starting to set up really well. So this is about the consistency you want it of like um, brownie batter, cake batter, you know, something that you can mess with it with. And then that way it'll be strong enough when you put in your post, it'll stay straight up and down. Or not on the level, but that's okay. All right. where you can do your 
final adjustments. Make sure that you're good and that you're straight, that your pipes are where you want them to be in your buckets. So, let's uh, names on the top or the date or something um, it's perfect time to do it because now you're just going to level it all out make it all nice and neat and as it solidifies you can mess with it hey there's my child I was looking for a child helper and my child's helper had disappeared there look, he is. Look at this. Southern girl playing in the mud. Horses. <laughs> See you guys.